started on the most requested tutorial of the year, Harley Quinn from the new Suicide Squad movie. I am going to start by putting in blue contacts, and then I'm going to move right on to makeup. For my foundation, I am going to mix the lightest foundation I have with white cream makeup. You can always mix in white to lighten up any foundation, but if you're using a white cream like I am, keep in mind that it probably won't stay on quite as long as foundation would on its own, so you're definitely going to want to powder it to keep it in place as long as you can. Be very gentle when applying the powder on top of the cream makeup because it's very easy to accidentally wipe it off. And onto my eyes, one side is pink, one side is blue. Start by applying the eyeshadow in the outer corners and sweeping it in. Then using your finger, you can drag the eyeshadow color down the side of your face, keeping it really super messy. And then I'm going to add a darker red eyeshadow and blend it in with the pink. And now we're going blue for the other side. Again, I'm going to sweep it across the lid and then drag it down my face with my finger. If it's not showing up as much as you want, you can always add more eyeshadow and try it again. And just like with the other side, I'm going to add a darker shade to the outer corner just to make it a little more interesting looking. And then I'm going to use black liquid liner to line my upper lash line and throw a little wing on there. In the end, we're going to want this look to look really messy. So a gel eyeliner would also be really good for this because it's easier to smear it out than liquid liner. And for that reason, I switched to a pencil liner for my lower lashes. So line your whole lower lash line and then smudge it all over the place with your finger. Now it's time to get really messy and dirty looking by adding black eyeshadow on top of this look. I'm going to start by putting it on the outer corners of my eyes and I don't really want to blend it too much so I'm going to use my finger to mix it in with the color on my eyelids. I'm also going to use my finger to drag that black down underneath my eyes and also down on these side smeary things. I want the main colors to show through but I want it to just look a little bit dirtier. And then of course I will add black mascara to my eyelashes. Carly's eyebrows are a lot darker than her blonde hair, so I'm going to use a dark brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows, and then I'm going to brush it out with a spoolie brush to soften the brow and make it look a little less defined. And then of course I'm going to put on some eyelashes. She doesn't have like really crazy lashes or anything, so I'm just going to pick the most natural pair that I have and go with that. By now we have all seen the little black heart on her cheek. The placement of the heart is kind of like if you went straight out from your nostril and straight down from the outer corner of your eye. The heart goes right about where those two lines would meet. So using a black body paint, I just drew a little heart and filled it in. If you don't have black body paint, you can also use a liquid eyeliner, which is exactly what I'm going to use for the next step. So at some point during the movie, she gets a tattoo of the word rotten on her right jawline. So I'm using this eyeliner to do the lettering because it has a super fine tip and I can get a lot more detailing in with a tiny little tip like this. No matter what you're using, it is still really tough to do letters in reverse when you're looking in a mirror. When I'm doing backwards lettering, it helps me a lot to look at the word as a series of lines and shapes instead of actual letters and that makes it a lot less confusing for me. No matter how you decide to do it, practice makes perfect and it only gets easier the more you do it. And now that my face tattoos are all done, I'm going to bring out the red lips, starting by lining and filling in my lips with a red lip liner, and then coming back over that with a darker red lipstick. For my nails, I use Dream Diamond from Madame Glam on my left hand, which is the blue one, and Hypnotize Me, which is the red one on my right hand. And now... Pew, pew. I'm going to go ahead and change into my Harley Quinn cosplay before I put the tattoos on my arms and legs just in case something goes awry, I don't want to get it on my Joker shirt. So here we are. The new Harley Quinn has a tattoo of red and black diamonds on her right arm forearm. So I'm using black and red body paint to draw these on. I'm just freehanding it, but you can definitely stencil this pattern on if that's easier for you. After filming this, I realized some of these diamond shapes are solid, so you don't need to break it up into four little diamonds on every single one. I think as long as you have a tattoo that is generally diamond shaped, you're probably doing pretty good. So you're going to want to keep putting diamonds all over your arm until you create a band that goes all the way around. Because I'm freehanding these diamonds, they didn't match up perfectly when they met on the other side of my arm. So I used a makeup remover wipe to take a little stripe out of the band. I just thought it looked a lot cleaner than diamonds that don't match up. But of course, you can do this tattoo however you want, or you could not do the tattoo at all. It is up to you. I just want you to have fun. The new Harley also has tattoos on her legs, so add some randomly placed diamonds and writing and whatever you want on your legs. 
I got so many questions about how I dyed my wig when I posted a little teaser of this on Instagram. But don't you guys worry, I actually have an entire video that is a costume tutorial for this Harley Quinn look, including dyeing the wig and making the outfit and crafting accessories and props, all that good stuff. That video will be coming out later this week, and you'll find out everything you need to know about dyeing a wig in that video. But for now, I'm using Gothic Lolita wigs, lace front, yaki straight, and blonde, which I styled into pigtails and curled. In the DIY costume video, I will also show you how I made all of these accessories, like this pudding necklace, the gun holster, belt buckle. Pretty much, I will show you everything you need to be Harley Quinn. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that video. It's gonna be fun! <laughs> and that's it! I hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. This has definitely been one of my favorite costumes of the year. It is just so much fun. Thanks again for watching. You guys know I love you all so very much. I'll see you next time. Bye!